Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're taking on the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock event. Now, this is a pain in the butt event. You have five different levels to go through. You have the base form technique Bardock to go up against. Once you uh, defeat him, you go up against the physical Super Saiyan Bardock. He, doken, well, he awakens or goes to his next stage of Super Saiyan 2 Bardock to the Super Saiyan 3 Intelligence Bardock and then a final stage of the Agility Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. So there's a lot going on here. The last stage, he has no like a damage reduction or anything like that, so you can just do full damage to him. Um, but I'm going to be running this event with my Super Saiyan or my Super Gogeta team. Um, I have a Super Gogeta friend who actually is at like 15,000 attacks or something like that. So he has level 3 crit, level 9 double attack, which is really awesome. Very, very good. I have some orb changers over here. I have my Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Ultimate Gohan. Uh, Bardock, because this Bardock seals, and then the Trunks. Now, honestly, all of the damage is going to be coming from the Gogetas. That's honestly why I'm running it, because they're going to be able to do massive damage against all different types of Bardock. And I want to be able to get this guy Doken Waken. A plan of action is actually going to be to Doken Waken my Bardock. Once Bardock's Doken Waken, take him up against the Super Saiyan 3 Broly event with all my Super Saiyan 3s, and then, you know, Doken Waken my Broly, and then I'll have a perfect Super... Well, not a perfect, but I'll have a good Super Saiyan 3 team. Now, mind you, the reason why I'm running these units is because primarily, um, the, like, this is my JP side, so I don't really, I don't ever well out on this game at all on the JP side. Um, this is just cards that I've accumulated. I've ended up having a halfway decent super uh, intelligence team. I mean, honestly, wh whenever you have the 120 leaders, you have a good team. And the fact that it's Gogeta who does good damage against everyone, like, he has that passive ability, so that way he's always doing massive amounts of damage, it makes life a lot easier. So as long as you have one per rotation, and then I usually will do uh, one Gogeta with uh, with Bardock because he'll seal everyone, and then I'll do one Gogeta with the Trunks because of the key orb manipulation just to make sure that he gets it off. And then once the Bardock over here, the one up top, goes to Intelligence, he cannot transform, or he cannot be sealed. So I take the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Gohan and I pair him with, uh, with the uh, Gogeta because they both have over and a flash. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start what I'm doing. This is actually going to be, man, this is going to be a long event. <laughs> I, did, I just did a little bit ago, and I think it took me about, you know, 13 to, actually, I think it took me 15 minutes to, to actually complete. So, um, we have to play this very carefully. Uh, you, I ended up using all of the uh, items that I had in there. I ended up using, uh, actually, I did, I did three healing items. I did all my Balmas and all my Icarises. So, um, what we need to do is we need to try and set it up so that way I don't use... I only use one training item before he goes Super Saiyan 3, or not training item, one uh, healing item before he goes Super Saiyan 3. And then I use, uh, well, Super Saiyan, by the time Super Saiyan 3 comes, we're going to be using some <laughs> some stuff because he does hit pretty hard. Uh, but anyway, uh, man, I wish I can get some of these guys to Super Attack 10, so no one here is actually Super Attack 10 except for Gogeta's. Uh, oh, actually, uh, yeah, no, Trunks isn't either. <laughs> so my Gogeta's are the only ones that are Super, uh, that are super Attack 10. Um, Alright, so... What we also want to try and do is we want to get a Dokkan attack off. Whether it goes off against the Agility stage or the Intelligence stage, doesn't matter. As long as it goes off on one of the Super Saiyan 3 stages, we don't want it to go off on the other stages prior to that, because then it's going to be a very hard battle. <laughs> um, but this, the, the, the Technique one should be taken out without a problem. He cannot attack, he can't do a Super Attack, that is, because I sealed him. So that's going to make him do almost no damage, because I have Type Advantage. Now this Gogeta is going to wipe him out. There we go. Next stage is the paint is a pain in the butt stage. So I'm gonna tell you right now though, the uh, either agility or intelligence is probably gonna be the best ones to bring up against the event if you're doing a um, oh whoa man I, I just blanked on that one. If you're doing a mono team, <laughs> uh, and the reason behind that is because specifically um, while the second stage is physical, this is where he will do less damage to you because it's this because it's a physical stage. Um, we're going to go ahead and actually use an Icarus over here because we don't want him to super attack and do massive amounts of damage. So Icarus gets used here, then I use one more Icarus when we get to the Intelligence stage. Uh, that's what I did last time anyway, it worked out without any problems. As long as we keep on going and we get everyone to super attack. Which we were able to do. And now the next round, hopefully I get enough key orbs, uh, Intelligence orbs, so that way uh, Trunks can get a nice super attack off. Uh, on top of that, that's awesome. Now, I won't have to worry about it. I, I was really hoping he wasn't going to super attack in the first part of this, because if he did, then I would have taken a lot of damage. Now, my Bardock will actually seal him, which is definitely beneficial. <laughs> uh, Bardock versus Bardock, yes. Kick butt. Alright. And now my Goku, just to do a little bit of damage. This thing's I can't wait to get my actual lineup set up. 
Uh, yeah, I don't have an LR gone on this account. I don't have any of my good units on this account. It's so, it's so, like, bad when I look at this, and I'm just like, man, this is pathetic. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna put Trunks over here, because we're gonna give him all the orbs, and then we're gonna get Gogeta, because Gogeta will be able to, you know, obviously do the damage I want him to do. Oh, man, unfortunately, Gohan won't be able to super attack. That go that, that reduces the amount of attack he gets to increase. Mm. Oh, well. The friend Gogeta does have a double, a lot of double attacks, so hopefully he gets some, he'll, he will get some double attacks when his turn comes up. So, what, what team are you guys running on this event, by the way? Um, I'm running this, I can... Pro I, I was gonna do, try the Super Saiyan 4 Goku team, but just knowing... Oh, heck yeah! Uh, just knowing that the, the that his last stage is agility, I didn't want to run it. The other one is my, I have the 120 Kid Boo, and then I have the Fusions category. Unfortunately for the fusions category, my Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is not Dogen Awakened, and that's because I didn't take the time to grind him out because that stage is such a pain in the butt. And honestly, I kind of feel the same way about the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. The only thing sort of driving me towards doing that um, is the fact that I think the team's awesome. By the way, I'm putting the Bardock first because I wanted to seal, and two, uh, Gogeta does have better defensive capabilities, so he will take less damage when he gets well, when he gets hit by Bardock. So Bardock will only be doing... Um, Normal attacks up against me, and because Gogeta's there, he will take more damage. I try to give you guys the play-by-plays. I don't mean to insult anyone here who knows this game very well. I, I say what I'm doing while I play because I want you to understand. If you're a new player here, I want the new guys to understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. Alright, cool. So Gogeta's good. Hopefully he can dodge one. I got, I got some nice dodges um, last round. Uh, la last round. <laughs> when I did this before, I was on camera. Alright, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. He is such a cool card. Such a cool card. I love it. Alright, there's that. And we're going to do this again. Uh, we're probably going to have to heal. So we got one heal. That should be good because in the next round he goes Super Saiyan. Yeah, because he's Super Saiyan 2 right now. So he'll go Super Saiyan next round. Um, there's that. And then... Oh man, Bardock. I mean, Trunks. Trunks is going to get a nice super attack off. Alright, cool. And then we don't need to worry about Goku. He should be done this round. I, if if Gogeta gets a double attack, then he'll definitely be done this round. But uh, we should be good. 1.1 million damage. Damn. Alright. Yeah, look at that. No double attack, but my trunk should be able to finish him off right now. Look at 391,000. Again, he's super attack 1, so that's why he doesn't have a lot of damage. Man. Okay, cool. And now we're going up against Super Saiyan 3. Intelligence. I wish I could understand what he was saying. I'm sure someone's done the translation somewhere. But yeah. Oh man, I've been, I was actually, I just got off watching D-Freeze video, and that's why I wanted to uh, come up on here with the uh, Mono Intelligence. I saw him do it with the Super 17 team. Now mind you, he did have the like o most OP, one of the most OP uh, uh, Super 17 teams that you could run. <laughs> so I was like, ooh, alright, let's see what I can do here. Uh, by the way, he, uh, can he be sealed? Done? Yeah, he can be sealed. Uh, Alright, cool. So, we are going to go ahead and use another Icarus over here, because Icarus is going to, you know, play real nice. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and use a Bulma as well to increase the amount of damage that we get to do. Uh, that will help out a lot. And, okay, cool. We're going to do that, because when we get the Intelligence Orb, it will do a lot more of for the Dokkan meter on the bottom. Uh, we also want to make sure that the Gogeta got his super attack off. Unfortunately, Bardock isn't going to be able to tank as much damage. Um as Gogeta would, but we want him to seal the, the second half, so if we get lucky and he doesn't super me in the first three turns, I should be good. And, okay, cool. Now we're good, he is not going to, so he can't super attack me now. So he will be sealed for this turn and next turn, which is definitely going to help out with the longevity of me not, not needing to use another healing item. Unfortunately, this Bardock doesn't really do any damage, so, I'll go, you know what, I also haven't Doken Awaken him, so. But Gogeta should be good. He should do some nice damage to him. Um, especially with that Bulma increase, and then I throw him in the middle also because you want to uh, pair him with the with the Gohan because Gohan will give him that fierce battling. Now I'm just I can't wait to use my Super Saiyan three team. That team's so ridiculous. Did, so um, I I was actually talking to some friends at work about this. Uh, the Gogeta, the, 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 sorry, the Super Saiyan three Bardock. This guy has 60% Link skills, right? 60% attack buffs on his Link skills. On top of that. He has a passive skill of attack plus attack and defense plus 40% when HP 70% or below. That's to everyone. And an innate 100% attack buff. And a 150% 12 key multiplier. 
this guy's damage output plus the 170% attack. This guy's damage output's insane. I mean, granted, it's only like 1.6 million for like bait, well, normal stuff, but man, he's still doing, he's just doing so much damage. It's, I, I can't wait. I cannot wait to run this team. Plus, you don't need to worry about any type of key support because they all have, most of them have over and a flat. Unfortunately, my Broly does not fit into that category. All right. Um, hmm. This is a predicament for me right now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use a Sensu Beam because the next round is gonna be a lot easier for me to go up against. And we're gonna throw Gogeta up over here just because it's gonna make it a little bit easier uh, to take him out because he should be able to take him out. I don't know yet, but he should be able to take him out. And now, one good thing is, regardless of if Gogeta takes him out, he will get taken out in the turn. Oh, wait a second. He may seal me. I just realized that this one has a medium chance to seal. So the fact that he's supering me may ruin the chances. I'm really glad I healed up, though. Oh, good. He didn't seal me. Whew. All right. So Gogeta should take him out. If he doesn't, someone else will clean it up. And all right. Cool. We're good. We're good. Okay. Now, the goal here is to get... Because the Doka mode's going to go off. So, we need to pay attention, and we need to get... Oh, and as a friend, Gogeta, he may crit. That is so perfect. Um, okay, cool. So, we're going to do that. And that's good. Can we... You, oh, Balma? The Balma? Okay, cool. So, we need the Balma. So, we're going to get the attack buff from Balma. And we have two... You know what? Just to play it safe, we're going to go ahead and uh, use a Dende. Now, what's good about this guy, I'm pretty sure he does not seal anyone, the uh, the agility one. And that's the one that's, that I'm going up against right now. Assuming he doesn't seal, which I don't think he does, and he doesn't super attack me, I'll definitely be good. Uh, again, there's there's like almost no damage reduction up on this guy, so he should we should do a lot of damage to him. All right, let's see. One, two. No, oh, failed. No. Okay, well, I got most of the, the <laughs> most of the targets. Uh, all right, so we're at the what? We're at the almost uh, about an 11 minute mark, 11 to 12 minute mark, something like that. Let's see what we can clear this in. All right, Gogeta, you got this, you got this, baby. All right, nice, Soul Punisher. Ooh, look at that damage. The, oh, I was I for a second, for a second, I thought he was gonna go and do an additional. That would have been insane. And thankfully, I did just uh, heal up. <laughs> and the cool thing about the Doko mode is it heals you at the end of the round, so I won't have to worry about anything. Yep, and then there's my Gohan. That's so sick. That is so sick. This is such, you know what, as much as a pain in the butt of this is to grind. I mean, think of it, you have to grind this event out 11 times, and 11 times times what? I'm already at, I'm, this is going to be about another 15 minutes. So 11 times 15, just think about how much time you have to spend grinding this damn thing. <laughs> um, also, there's a charge here. I don't know what this charge is for, so someone please let me know in the comments below if he, if he one-shots you if you don't finish him in the charge. I, I don't know. Um, I didn't see anything about it, so I'm just assuming that's what the case is. D-Free didn't tell me in his video either, so <laughs> I watched the video and I was just like, oh, well, I was kind of hoping to know about that. That's Honestly, that's why I watched it. Well, yeah. Uh, anyway, so where are we going to go here? I kind of want to seal him. Um the same time yeah you know what we're gonna just go ahead with gogeta because gogeta should be able to help us out and finish him off and ooh, i don't have ooh, oh perfect actually there we go because I, I was wor i was worried that uh my super saiyan 3 gohan wasn't going to be able to take care of him but he is and then gogeta oh yes nice love that dodge good job good job gogeta on one million one million damage all right that's what i'm called soul punisher and he will be knocked out next round and as the, I think he can get sealed. I think the agility one can get sealed. Um, and then next round, the Goji, my friend Gogeta will take him out. I'm going to heal up anyway, just to be safe. I would rather play it safe than sorry. Always play it safe than sorry. You know, you could always buy Sensu Beans, and the amount of Sensu Beans that they give out in, like, specials and stuff, you are usually have nothing to worry about. Uh, yeah, we have two attacking right now in the beginning. Mm -hmm. We're going to use my last Dende. And so this is what I was talking about last round. I only had one healer left, and that's because I got lucky with the placement, and I got a crit at the end, which took which took out the Bardock before I needed to. Definitely not playing that here. So there we go. My, my Gogeta will now be able to take him out, even if he gets uh, super attack. And we are golden. I just hope he gets the dodge just to, you know, play a clutch. That would have been awesome. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Dude dodges and finishes it off with a 1.3 million damage. <laughs> Super attack, Soul Punisher. Yeah, that's what you think you were going to hit me? Nah, I hit you. <laughs> Heck yeah. So that's that. So I've won this event two times so far. 
Um, I need to get some of these guys Doken Awaken, like that Goku and the Bardock. I know, guys, I do need to get them Doken Awaken. It'll help out with the damage output. Again, none of them are Super Attack 10. This is my free-to-play account. But this is what I did want to state. You know, I don't have the most OP team. I'm running cards from across all the metas, from, like, the original OG meta of the game, all the way to the most recent meta of the game, and I'm still taking on the most recent events without a problem. Yes, you need the leaders, but as long as you have one leader and some decent hitting cards, you can essentially heavily rely on that leader. You don't need every leader in-game. Does it make it better? Yeah, of course, because you can run some really nice teams with all of them. But that's it. Okay, so let's take a look. So yeah, this is the team. Yep, those are the items. We're just going to screen cap that real quick just because I'm going to post this up on TMV. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. Let me know how well you guys fared up against this event. Let me know the teams that you're going to be running to take it on. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.